Good morning, everybody, in indigo cornflower blush bubbles, and good morning, everybody at home. We are going to do our phonics lesson for today. So, um, we are going to look at these two sounds today. What do they say? Oh my goodness me, my class, my class are asleep this morning. What are these two sounds, children? Uh, that's right. This one is uh, like whirl and twirl. And this one says uh, when it's in the middle of the words or at the beginning of the words, but at the end of the word, what does it say? Uh, well done, excellent. But today we're going to do this as the uh sound, this grapheme. When it makes the whoops, when it makes the er uh sound. So these two are the ways I want to practice spelling the er uh sound today. Okay. So first of all, we are going to have a look at some words, and we're doing some longer words now because you're year one and you're getting really good at this. So let's see. Here is our first word. Sound it out for me, please. Oh, hang on a minute. My class have gone to sleep. Right, they're awake, you're asleep. Come on, raise your game. <laughs> okay. B, U, A, B, U, D. Blackbird, well done. Blackbird, I saw a blackbird in my garden. Right, here we have, uh, obviously, an alien word with these three legs there. Let's sound it out. U, E, B, E. Flurby, well done, Flurby, well done, my group. Okay, here is now. Look carefully. Miss Fothers has put a sneaky. There's the C followed by an I. So what sound does this make? Crying. No. What sound does this? It does. Well done. It makes a s sound when it's followed by an I. So sound it out for me. Uh. uh, uh Circus, circus. Okay, next word. Hello. Twirl, twirl. Okay, next word. Here we go. G, uh, ooh. Girl, girl. Okay. I think this is what my class don't have today. So I'm hoping that indigo and cornflower and blush groups. So we're sounding it out, please. A, N, A, J, E. Why does this G make a J sound in this word? Why does it, go on Aaron. Excellent, because it's followed by a Y. Well done. So we're not all asleep today, just most of my group. Well done, Aaron. The G is followed by a Y, so it makes a J, 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 J sound instead of a G. So the word is e -n -e -g -e. energy. Energy. Okay, next word. Are you ready? Sound it out, please. Right, hang on a minute. I'm sorry, other groups. My group have gone to sleep. Okay, so, shh. No, I'm asking you not what the word is. I'm asking you to sound it out. So, uh, okay, if we say ah, uh, let's work it out then. Uh, ah, uh, d, e, b, uh, d. Ladybird, is that a word? Right, ladybird. Well done. So, we know that this is saying a instead of a, because there's no such thing as a laddie bird, it's a ladybird, well done. So we have to listen when we're sounding out to what each sound says. Shh. Right, next word. This, of course, is an alien word, so let's sound it out. S, o, a, g, e, b. Sorry? No, let's do it again. S, U, E, F, I, B. No, it's not slurf gib because look at what is after the G. 
What is after the G? Thank you. Good boy, Mason. Excellent work. Slurf jib, Mason says. And he's right because if you have a look, it's a soft G because it has an I after it, like an I or a Y, and it makes the J sound. Excellent work. Slurf jib. Slurf jib. That is a strange word. Okay, next one, real word. So look at this split digraph here. So what does the split digraph say? I. I go on then. B I G. Ike bird. Have a look at what is following the C. What letter is after the C? Thank you. So this makes a C sound because it's followed by the E. So let's do it again. Iceberg. 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 Oh, I am testing you today on a Friday. I'm seeing how much of your other phonics you remember, not just the sound we're doing today. So you're doing really well. Okay, another split digraph in this word. Let's sound it out, please. Uh, what does this make as a split digraph? Oh, well done. Good girl, Lila. Perfume. 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 And our last one for today with our er uh sound in it there. Mm, uh, mm, a d. Mermaid. Oh my goodness, I have tested you there today, but we can't forget all the other sounds that we, we can't let those fall out of our ears when we're practicing different sounds. We still need to remember all those sounds going around in our heads. Okay, so it is time to write your words. So if you're at home, you need your home learning book and a pen or a pencil. If you're in school, you need your whiteboard and your pen. Your first word, using this digraph is third. I came third in the race. Third. I got the bronze medal. I came third. Third. And please watch Miss Fothers when I'm saying this word. The word is third. Third. Okay. Next word using this digraph, please, is herbs. Miss Fothers is growing herbs on her window still. Still. Herbs. 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 Okay, how are we doing? Are we ready? Have we got third and herbs? Okay, now we're going to do our longer words, our two syllable words, and the word you're going to use this digraph to spell is birthday. B -a -d -a. Stretch out that sound. B -a -d -a. Birthday. B -a -d -a. Birthday. But a d a five sounds in that word birthday and our last two syllable word with this sound this graphene to make the er sound is curbside please do not park on the curbside and I will, oh no, I'm not going to give you that clue. I'm going to see if you work it out. Curbside. 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 I will give you a clue. The side is a split digraph. The I sound inside is a split digraph. That's Miss Father's top tip. The I sound inside is your split digraph spelling of I. K -b -s -i -d. Okay, let's have a look then. So, our first word, 
I hope nobody has written a sound for this, otherwise Miss Fothers may become unhinged. So it's third, third. I came third in my race. If you have got something wrong, just fix it before Miss Fothers becomes unhinged. Third with a th. Okay, our next word. Uh, herbs. That should have been an easy one. Have you got the the sound buttons in the right place? You weren't listening. You've got the wrong uh, sound. Look. Okay. Well done. You've missed something out in the middle of the next word, Mason. Have a look. Okay. So our two syllable word. Our longer. Uh. D A birthday. This better be a th sound and not a sound, otherwise Miss Fathers will get big hair. B A D A birthday. Are your sound buttons in the correct place? Let me have a look. I need to see sound buttons. Okay, here is our last word. And I can see quite a few people in my group have done this. Okay, why can't it be that? We, it has to be a kicking cut, it has to be the K. Why can it not be a C? Why can it not be a C? Aaron is on fire today, why not Aaron? Because it would make it say S, because it's got an E after it. So it can't be a curly cur because otherwise this would say serb, serb, and it doesn't. So it needs to be the K, K, uh, B, S, and there's our split digraph for the I, D, K, uh, B, S, I, D. Put your sound buttons in the correct place. Fix any mistakes you may have made. Okay, I think we're doing okay with my group. They were a little bit tricky today because I've put some of those soft G and soft C sounds in so you weren't forgetting them. We will have another little practice maybe of those next week. Excellent. Right, let's go to the reading part of our lesson. And we have got a long sentence, which is a load of old nonsense. It's a nonsense sentence. But I'm hoping that you will be able to help me read this. So. The only uh, word we cannot sound out is the. Okay, so. Ah, m, a, m, a, d, a mermaid, s, qu, a, t, ed, squirt, ed, well done, a mermaid squirted the lady. Bird. So a mermaid squirted the ladybird on an ice. Whoops, ice. B -er -g. A mermaid squirted the ladybird on an iceberg. Quite tricky today, a long sentence. Let's read it together. Ah, mermaid squirted the ladybird on an iceberg. The mermaid squirted the ladybird on an iceberg. I did say it was a nonsense sentence. Okay, writing. So you'll need your books or your whiteboard and pen. The sentence I would like you to write is, we have lots of energy to twirl around. Quite a long sentence. So let me say it and then you can repeat it. We have lots of energy. That's the first bit. You say it now. We have lots of energy to twirl around. So let's put it all together. We have lots of energy to twirl around. Your turn. 
Oh, nearly. My, my class nearly got that right. I will keep repeating the sentence. Don't forget your capital letters and full stops. We have lots of energy to twirl around. Energy has this er uh sound in it. Twirl has this sound in it. We have lots of energy to twirl around. We have lots of energy to twirl around. We have lots of energy to twirl around. Eight um, words in that sentence. We have lots of energy to twirl around. We have lots of energy to twirl around. Let me just turn around and see how my class are doing. You are doing really well there, Mrs. Excellent. Energy with this one. Energy has this graphene. Energy is this one. Energy. We have lots of energy to twirl around. Let me have a look. Let me just look through the window. How is the blush group doing with that? Have we nearly written that sentence? Oh, Mrs. Bedford's putting our fingers up. We've just got a couple more words to write, I think, in here. We have lots of energy to twirl around. What do you need on the end of your sentence? Um, this is the er in twirl. This is the er in twirl. Okay, let's go for this and okay so okay so this is what you should have we you know that as a keyword from reception that should definitely be right we have lots is easy of e E. We looked at that word earlier. I'm hoping you've got that soft G in there. We have lots of energy to twirl around. around. I'm hoping you spelt around correctly because we have had that in our spellings this week. So I'm hoping you use the correct ow sound but if you didn't it doesn't matter just fix it okay we have lots of energy to twirl around oh i'm hoping i'm gonna ask mrs hudson and mrs sane and miss stirk afterwards how well you did with those extra sneaky challenges i put in there with the soft c and the soft g and making sure you remembered your owl spelling. Oh, Miss Sturt's put thumbs up. Her group must have been working really hard. Well done, Cornflower Group. Okay, so that is our last phonics lesson for this week because tomorrow is the weekend. So have a fantastic weekend, everybody, and we will see you on Monday. Bye.